Hello everybody and welcome to um, another uh, short live uh, Facebook video regarding platform updates for Zone Tools. In this video I'm going to cover um, one, one, two, three, four, five uh, very recent updates that, that Tarik pushed to the platform. Uh, let's start with the first one. The first one is the... Uh, is it showing? Yeah! No. Okay. No, 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 no. Let me go through this one. This one. Okay, yes. All right, so the first one is that um, Tarik made uh, the icons, uh, the PGN icons, where we see um, uh, exact phrase broad and these icons here, and, active, and auto campaigns, uh, clickable, so that whenever you want to go and jump directly to the auto campaign within a PGN, you don't have to go and see first all the campaigns and then select one, but you can simply click on whatever uh, campaign you want to work directly. So in this case, let's say this is a PGN, I want to go and see specifically the phrase uh, campaign within this PGN, and we can just click the P for phrase, and I'll be taken right at phrase level, where I can check all the statistics and do any action, uh, customize the rules, uh, edit stuff, uh, archive, or, or do whatever you want already budget. But as far as the uh, first one goes, as far as the second update, um, just some uh, very small updates. So uh, whenever you are sorting by descending or ascending your data, we are simply coloring. Uh, let's sort by descending. Again, we don't have data here, but just to show you, you see, this is to indicate that actually the data that you are uh, seeing is sorted by descending. If you were to uh, sort the CPC, the cost per click by ascending, again, we will indicate by coloring within the arrow color that the data you see are sorted. And also here, if you want to click the sorting, you just go over here and hit no sort. Okay. Um, that was the second update. The third update, and this is done. We uh, made a Hoover effect, like a white uh, white uh, um, shadowing and hover effect over any data point can be that can be editable directly from the spreadsheet without the need to open the rule pop-up. So instance, if you want to edit the budget, you don't have to open the pop-up and go on the edit screen and edit your budget over here. You can simply double click on the budget here. We bring you already where you should be and here you can just change your budget and, and save it. All right, so also this is done. And this is a bigger one. So enable return state filter. What does this even mean? So let's go at keyword level. All right, for example, at keyword level right here, uh, let's go to name for 200. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, right now we are showing you all the keywords no, we got keyword level, the state filter is not filtered. So here we're showing all the keywords within your account. Now, the filter option that we have is archive. We can show you only the archived keywords. And we got no archive. Or post, we are showing you only your post keywords. And again, we got no post keywords over here. Then enable, we are showing you all your enabled keywords. Now. The problem with showing you all your enabled keywords is that we are showing you also the enabled keywords that are contained within campaigns or ad groups that have been posted. All right, so enable, we're going to show you all the enabled keywords regarding, regardless if the parent is posed or not. And, you know, it might not be useful, it might, that's not something that you'd like to see. So what we added, we added a new filter that we called enabled with parent, which will simply show you the enabled keywords that have a parent enabled. So the enabled keywords that are actually enabled because both the ad group and the campaign are also enabled. Uh, so this will allow you for uh, better data filtering and faster navigation of your data. Um, and this is done. And the last one, which is the best one in my opinion, uh, and this reconnects to the, the previous other two videos that I was running regarding a bulk update 
uh, bulk edit update feature which we're doing. So uh, we added a, a new feature to the bulk action button that is over here. So you can select, again, you can filter your keywords the way you want. You can filter your customer short terms the way you want. You can select whatever customer short term or keyword you want to take bulk actions on. You open here and add to, you can select either you can go here and as we've seen in another video you can simply go and add them to a pgn create a new pgn for them but what i want to cover here is that now we allow you to add any keyword or any custom short term within any specific ad group that you might want to pick so let's say uh, that you want to add the selected keywords over here to this ad group at a build of uh, $1.2 at the exact match time. You can add them as a phrase match time, a match type, or as a broad match type. As well as you can also add them as negative exact within the same ad group or as negative phrase within the same ad group. So uh, this is going to make your life much easier and you will not, um, eventually you will stop to need to rely on Amazon Search Center because everything can be done by here. Almost, we are very, 99% of all the action you can possibly take as a manager in PPC account can be done within our platform right now. Um, we have one more step to add this, which will come in the coming days. Um, and, the, and I have another update, which I did not, uh, this is done. Okay, and um, the last one is that uh, I don't know if I, I don't remember. No, yeah, that's it. That's done. We are done. So for today, these updates uh, are done. Um, I will, after all the bulk action update uh, are gone live, I will make a, a more comprehensive video, one video, and then I publish it on YouTube most likely with everything and I will, I will create some documentation but as for now if you want to go and add keywords to customer to terms to uh, ad groups that are non-PGN it can be done on the bulk action and you do as I showed you so you select the keywords select the bulk action select whatever ad group you want to add them um, and select the bid if they are exact broad or phrase or well the bid you don't need it for negative um, that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you soon.